Welcome back. We're here at H2K TV looking at a uh, Psycom uh, Gamer. I never heard of him. Versus uh, Rodcat Gaming. The team we just watched take on the defeat of uh, Get Defeated by uh, Infinitus Esports, also known as IQ Pad. And uh, this match is still in the ready up period pre match. And it probably will be for a couple of minutes. So stay tuned, and uh, once you hear my voice, you'll know we'll go live. like uh, Psycom is doing uh, the best job. Two on one here, however. Prof's got a good chance to maybe win this after all. Oh, no, he doesn't. Matchster uh, decides to pick up the winning knife. As uh, Psycom gets the twos, they pick the fence. And so it shall be.
And I just got confirmation that we are live again. I wonder for how long we were not live, but uh, that's a matter for another day. As uh, we get into another ready up period, waiting for uh, Beeman and uh, Moradin to uh, find their balls so we can get this match underway. And there they go. They're all ready. They've practiced enough. Rodcat Gaming versus Psycom. Rodcat on the attack here as uh, Psycom had the choice of uh, defending first. Niz with that sniper, of course. Shooting down range. Uh, however, he's got uh, some smokes laying down there. So uh, that sniper will be somewhat useless for a bit. Let's move on to uh, the SMG players. Opsis for Psycom. Very close battle here. It's up one. Oh, almost picks up a second. Well, Prof uh, has something to say about that. Prof moving on to that site. Uh, while Seuss picks up uh, Beeman onto that B site, making that B site entirely empty. Prof, however, uh, securing that site before he's going to plant. Oh, very smart choice to uh, move backwards a bit and see if someone was there. And Exile was indeed. First round goes to Rodcad. Let's see what Psycom can do here on the defense, or uh, at least how they uh, how they put themselves. I see uh, two members uh, somewhat on A, a couple in the middle. But most of the uh, Rodcat players are moving on to B, where Majester is now finding Abs. Abs, of course, uh, taking that uh, advantage here. Seuss making the car explode, taking out one of his team members and one of the opposing members. And that was it already. Rodcat with a 2-0 lead. Niz with that 3-0 uh, lead. Currently the man to watch. Even though uh, he's being uh, harassed by that smoke again. Probably the nightmare of any sniper. Unless you put it down yourself. <laughs> oh! Ops is taking out Niz and Morden taking out Prof. It looks like a flank on that A site. Or I should say B. And that was a fast round for Psycom. Making it 1 to 2 or 2 to 1. No matter what you look at it. Psycom could be making a comeback here. Let's follow Beeman for Psycom. Who uh, the only player going uh, down the middle. As that cover from the smokes, we'll be meeting up with some DEFCON players soon, very soon. There's the first one, gets the kill, as Moradin does with two more, leaving only Prof and Niz. Let's see where Prof's at, low health, the only uh, AK player remaining. Near that B site, he's got an enemy on his left, got an enemy on his right. Decides to uh, swap out his Deagle for some more firepower. Yep, he's gonna meet someone here. And takes the upper hand as uh, Moradin fired first, but he uh, probably had to reload. 2 on 2. Prof had a B site. The opposing team does not know that he obviously does not have the bomb. Oh, very nice jumping here. I've never seen it before, but uh, then again, I don't play that much COD. <laughs> he makes him. There he goes, finally makes the kill. He made the tag from up there, but uh, he finally took out Beeman when he jumped down. One on one, Prof versus Majester. Prof's got that bomb. Majester's got the time advantage. They find each other. Can be more of a fair firefight than this. Prof decides to go for the plant, obviously, on the A site. Now the advantage is for Prof, as uh, Majester's gonna have to infiltrate the site. And probably take out Prof before we defuse it, because, uh,. Prof's gonna not let the views go through. Just a very careful as he should be, faking the views, seeing Prof's head. Properly drawn him out, however, Prof knows exactly where Majester is gonna be on his way to kill Prof. So he just blazes through the walls and gets that kill. Another round for Rodka Gaming. As, uh, let's follow Beeman again. Because it's got quite the interesting position pushing hard here in that middle area. We'll be meeting up with 
couple of members here. Finds a kill on Abs. Oh, does get taken out by Preki on his way back as he would find himself under too much fire. Let's take a look at Zeus as he uh, pushes through that middle where uh, where Beeman was just at. He's uh, accompanied by Preki with the bomb. You can look through this opening for ages and you won't find anyone as the rocket members are all on the other side. Prof goes down in that market. Let's take a look at Preki who's, uh, who's the initiator with the bomb here on that A site. Goes for the plant as he knows they're likely not going to be watching that. And here comes Axel, first to arrive on the scene. And also the last one standing now. Chris Icom, one on two. He's not likely to make this, but he's going to give it a go. Does some wall banging, does not connect, even though he had the right idea. Doing very good, if I say so. It does not get a kill. Oh, there comes the first! Axel, 8 7 seconds, probably not going to make this. He's going for the defuse. 3 2 1. Oh, there comes Susan with a kill on Axel. Axel with a very, very likely, uh, very proper attempt to get those players down and to defuse the bomb. Very smart play, but perhaps a bit too late. And, uh, well, Radka was just too good for this. 4 and 1 in favor of Vodkad. Following uh, Preki first to arrive on the B bomb site. As he goes down. And uh, Seuss is second to arrive there with the bomb. Hurt as hell. Now as his teammates provide some backup cover, he's going for the plant. Successfully, will be flanked here very soon if he doesn't... Yeah, he turns around, smart play. As the front uh, opposing player goes down, all uh, attention can be focused on Axel. He's going to be coming in his vision right here very soon, and there it is. Zeus takes a nice kill on Exile. Another round for Rocket. 5-1. to one. We could be looking at a very convincing win of this game. Let's check out Beeman again, one of the players that uh, like to push very soon and very fast. This time over the B site, finding two opposing players in that marketplace and uh, not taking them out this time. Seuss for Rodcat again pushing middle. And uh, landing in a nice firefight here. With two, uh... oh wow, I was going to say with two Psycom members, but then Prof came around the other side and had the total advantage over these Psycom players, taking them out like that. Six to one in favor of Rodcat. Let's see how Rodcat does this. Uh, let's give Niz another chance with that sniper. Going for the late nade. Uh, with no success. Abs, however, does have success. So let's move over to Abs. As he, uh, he's on that B site. Alone, well, not alone. Far from alone, but he's in back. He will be finding someone in front of him. Oh, his teammate already took him out. It's only Exile remaining. Axel tagged up on that Rodcat side of the map. This is not going to go good for Axel. Yeah, there he goes. Abs comes in, takes him out. That last bit of health was an easy kill for uh, for Rodcat. 7-1. Preki with a, a very interesting uh, kill. Standing on the, on the car getting some nice elevation. I've never seen that before. Shooting through uh, what looks like a very thick wall, but does get the kill. 
Another fast round as it's only two players remaining for Rodkite. This could be uh, the return of the rounds for Psycom if they manage to push on. Oh, I'm getting a connection interrupted on Prof. And Prof's back. That would only mean that Abs is going to be facing with a Psycom player very soon. And he does. Runs for cover. Oh, Prof gets taken out. Abs, last man standing for Rodcat. This is going to be an easy round for Psychom if they manage to uh, push through. Abs obviously trying to uh, keep it at a one-on-one -on -one, uh, a one-on-one -on -one, uh, battle. But the first one-on-one -on -one battle he finds is going to take him out. Making it 7-2! Psycom could finally be on the return, so uh, let's follow one of the Psycom players. I see uh, Majester here. Very fast push down the middle. One kill. Oh, second kill as well. Does that get the third kill on Prof? However, Prof's taken out by his friend Morden. Morden hurt, but still alive in that middle. Going on with his, with his push. Very nicely done. Takes out the entire team. And uh, it's three points for Psycom. This could be their uh, their solid... Return on, um, what's the word? Momentum, there it is. They could be getting some momentum right here. As Majester is defending at A-side, well, when they will be pushed, as Abs takes the upper hand. Exile converts on Abs. And a whole lot's going down. Maj mainly, Rodcat takes over that A-side. As uh, Beeman... Manages to pick one off, leaving Morden alone. Spraying on that uh, objective. Finally getting the aimed kill with the Deagle. One and two bombing down. It's going to be a hard task for Morden. Both tangos <laughs> obviously being on the right side. That's somewhat of an advantage. It could be spread out more. Very nice uh, smoke here to cover his defuse. Probably going to fake a defuse here first. Incoming fire, nicely dodged. Trying to get the kill first. Smart move. Oh, and then Niz takes him out from the side. Unseen by Moradin. That sniper's gonna take your head off if you don't be careful. 8 to 3, favor of Rodcad. As we're in this last round of the first half, we can see Abs and Beeman already dropped. Oh, Abs wasn't dropped. Abs, Abs was just very low. Recovering now. Psycom. Oh, Psycom does not look good with uh, two players left alive. However, Morden returns very strongly. One on two. Majester last man standing. Oh, takes one. Niz remaining. Niz requires that sniper rifle in the back of the uh, back of the street while the bomb is not down. So Magister could have this if he manages to uh, take it up close and personal with Niz. We can see Niz going through uh, the middle arches, and there is Magister. Very smart play there, a smart movement by Magister. As uh, eight to four is the score of the first half. And the second round is underway. Or the second half is underway, I should say. With uh, Rodcat now on the defense. And Psycom on the offense. Let's see where Psycom takes this. Who's the bomb carrier here? I think Morden is. Morden and three teammates moving on to that B site area. Slowly, we'll find someone. Abs with some very nice shots onto uh, two Psycom members, taking them out just like that. And there's a third. Majestic dropping. Everyone's dropping all around me. Where's Beeman? Last man standing for Psycom. Oh, when he gets taken out by Prof, who is on that B runway.
Niz also for uh, the defense side using that sniper rifle. Nice <laughs> grenade kill. A bit late, I didn't even see him throw it. On a teammate. Oh, <laughs> thank you, director. He <laughs> indeed uh, made a team kill with a nade. Let's see where the action's at. Majester is moving into the B site, finding Prof. Actually, Beeman took the kill, but I'm sure Majester took mo shot most of the bullets. Now going for a uh, for a flank. You can hurry up here, as Preki's probably unaware of his position. Preki tagged, Preki downed. Yeah, Beeman, there you go. Flanking's always a good idea in probably any FPS game. Nine to five, in favor of Rodcat. And they need just four more rounds to uh, secure themselves a place in the grand final against, obviously, IQPad, who they just lost to. Psycom this round, only one player left. As <laughs> Seuss takes off uh, Axel with a car kill. Morden camping somewhere. Getting the upper hand on Abs who was moving in. But uh, not on Seuss. Making it 10 to 5. Let's check out who's the bomb carrier here for Psycom. Beeman. For a change. Because he's not been there, that bomb carrier, every round. No nade kills this one. He is hurt, however, by that uh, exploding car. He's, uh, he's a bit late to the group here, moving on B. Finally getting there. <laughs> His team has already taken out the entire Rodka team. How could I not see that? It's uh, finally a round for Psychom again. 6 to 10. Let's see if they can get keep this momentum going. Majester with the somewhat late push down middle, or not, nope, he decides not to go this time. Let's move on to uh, Exile with the bomb. Knows if he goes forward he'll meet some resistance. But he should go forward anyway, and here it comes. Oh, Abs takes out Axel. Abs doing a great job compared to the last game. Where uh, he was a bit unlucky every time we watched him. Stats wise, he did fine. Majester, last man standing for Psycom against four Rodcat players, is not looking good for him. He will be meeting someone here soon on the left. Takes the upper end. Psycom being on the attack, he, uh, he's got to do something himself instead of just defending. Bomb's pretty far away, and Rodcat knows exactly where that bomb is. We'll be looking to take out Majester here. As it's uh, pretty much a given where a player like that's going to go. <laughs> I mean, he has to pick up the bomb. Making it 11 to 6, favor of Rodcat. Closing in on the end. There's a Beeman again going for a, a hard push. Oh, Preki takes him out. Not lucky there. Majestar, however, uh, tossing a nice nade onto Preki. Which, on its turn, is not appreciated by Seuss. 4 on 3. Morden with the bomb, not giving up on that A site, even though they just lost two team members there. A 
One of the Rocket players is getting awfully close here, and one's going to flank him. Abs, let's follow Abs quickly. Oh, there comes Abs. One. F oh, he didn't, he didn't kill it. I, I think his teammate already did. I think uh, Niz got in quickly with that sniper rifle and uh, took away that kill. Oh, and now Opsis takes out uh, the Rodcat player, leaving only Opsis and Abs alone. Where uh, Opsis got that sniper and an AK. Good job. But he doesn't have the bomb and he's got 28 seconds to get it down while Abs has got good positioning here. Can hear the plant on A. Wait a bit and then go for it. And he gets the kill. Nicely done. I would have expected him to shoot while the plant was going on or at least just before it ended. But uh, he just waited until it's down entirely. Take out the player. Fuse it. I mean any way you want to do it. As long as you win your plan successful. It's 12 to 6 as Rodcat has uh, their first game point. Let's follow Niz, who decides to not snipe A, but go for mid. As the players of uh, Psychom are pretty spread out, so there's no real, re real reason to, uh, sw to switch. As the Rodcat all of a sudden get downed, as it's uh, 3 on 2. Favor of Psycom. Let's see where these players are. Exile with the bomb moving on to B with uh, one teammate, and he will be meeting two opposing players, both Rodcat, of course. That means that the A side is open, but will he realize that? Because he hasn't seen him yet. Uh, it looks like he will be rotating towards A. Maybe his teammate called it. Gathering some guns. And there they go. Running somewhat stealthy. <laughs> Going for A. Checking out all the coordinates before they enter. Dropping the smoke. Oh yeah, and now the Rodcat players know what's going on. Preki's moving on first. On your right, Preki. On your right. Oh, Preki's going to get owned here. Why is Preki still alive? Is my radar lying? Yeah, there he is, right behind you! Niz last man standing. It's gonna be a hard job. Looks like to be around for Psycom. Almost gets the first kill, now gets the first kill. Moradin left alive though. Moradin needs to somewhat push. As oh, Niz! Takes him out as he sort of fakes the defuse, and that's the 13th round, and Rodcat wins it! Good games are called. Rodcat is about to meet IQPad again tonight in the grand final this time for all the kudos, all the moolahs, and all the monies. Good plays by uh, both teams. 13-7 to 7 is the final round, and uh, this has been the cast for tonight. I am uh, Eagle. And you can find this match on demand soon at h2ktv.com. Thank you for watching.